I think undeniably the use of mobile phone systems has been uh, particularly transformational uh, because the voices and the participation of millions of people around the world uh, is now part of the conversation, be it a simple SMS or Twitter, Facebook, or Ushahidi or CrowdMap. Uh, all these technologies uh, come together in one small piece of equipment, which is a mobile phone. And with more than 600 million subscribers uh, of uh, telephony in Africa, we've just scratched the surface of what's possible in terms of using technology and changing people's lives. Uh, we've, we've barely touched what's truly possible, but it's a great opportunity to be able to do that. The moment you have a closed system, you're only pre prescribing certain uses. When you have open systems and hackable systems, uh, people are able to use technology as a skeleton on which they can flesh out their ideas and local solutions that suit their local problems. There's a very big difference. So I think the, the biggest uh, barrier is closed systems, IP issues, look at who's suing who. Uh, why don't we just go all, all open source, really, and just get on with providing value to people? I think it's in, create, uh, it's in um, creating an enabling environment for uh, the use of technology in advancing development. Uh, I mean providing support uh, in terms of these networks of people who are doing interesting things with technology and doing it in a way that truly empowers them rather than supplants uh, what we think are our ideas of development. How, how do we help people figure out what are their ideas, what are their solutions? Um, and I think that comes from a lot of humility, but uh, it, it comes from having a dialogue, but also just providing the foundational support